If you are looking for a power supply for your gaming PC and you want a good quality power supply that will not explode, then this video is going to be for you. I will show you different power supplies for different budgets and different wattage as well. And I will make sure to show you a power supply that will not make your PC explode, which is the ultimate goal for a power supply. And let's not overthink it. You will have the link to all of these power supplies down below in the video description. And I will also explain everything as simply as possible that way even if you're a beginner you are able to understand that being said let's start with the first power supply we have the cheapest one this is a really budget power supply i'm talking about the apivia prestige 600 watt 80 plus gold power supply this one is going for 52 dollars it's on a 35 percent discount and honestly i love this power supply for budget builds since it has enough wattage for most budget builds and it's c tier rated meaning that it's good enough quality for budget builds. Right now, I wouldn't buy any other power supply than this one at this price point. Just make sure that if you're going to buy this one, your PC build requires less than 600 watts. With the next one, we have a $60 power supply in the MSI Mag A650BN. I love this one. I think it looks much better than the last one. And it's also a 650 watt power supply instead of a 600 watt power supply. And it's only about $9 more expensive. This one is 80 plus bronze, not 80 plus gold. But that doesn't really matter as much as you think. So honestly, I think this one is better than the last one, especially if your PC is going to require from 600 to 650 watts, or if you want to upgrade something down the line. I I think 650 watts is going to be better than 600 watts in the long run. With the next one, we have another Apivia Prestige, but this time this one has 800 watts and it's 80 plus gold. And honestly, the price is the best on the market for an 800 watt power supply at $67. As I said before, this is a CT rated unit, so I wouldn't pair this with a PC that is really high end. Let's say you have the RTX 4080 or the RTX 4070 Ti, and then you have the Ryzen 7 7700X or a Ryzen 5. 576 hundred X. I wouldn't buy this power supply, but if you have a budget build that will require around 650 to 700 watts, this power supply is going to be perfect. I just want to say though that every power supply I've mentioned so far is non-modular, meaning that you will not be able to change the cables that come with the power supply, so no custom cables. However, the next one is fully modular, meaning that you can change everything. And I'm talking about the Enermax Revolution DF2. This is A tier rated, meaning that it's the best quality out there, and it's going for 90 bucks after a $10 rebate card and a $10 off with a promo code. This is, in my opinion, the best value power supply on the market at the price of $90, because you get an 850 watt power supply, which is going to be enough for most PC builds on the whole market, even the high end ones and it's A tier rated so you can pair it with really high end components. Now, if when you're watching this video for some reason, it's not 90 bucks anymore, it's more expensive, then in that case, you have an alternative in the description as well, which is the MSI MPG AGF. This one is another 850 watt 80 plus power supply that's fully modular as well. It looks amazing, A tier rated, and it's going for $100 new, so just $10 more expensive than the other one and it's from MSI in case you like the branding. And if that one is not 99 bucks, then you have another option, but this time it's a 750 watt power supply. So if your PC requires more than that, then this is not an alternative. But if your PC requires around 700 to 750 watts, then this one is going for 90 bucks as well, the Thermal Take Top Power GF3, which is A tier rated as well. So it's going to be amazing quality and enough for most PC builds as well. Now, if you require more power, you can get the Enermax Evolution on the F2 once again, but this one is a 1050 watt power supply and of course A tier rated. This one is $130, which is one of the cheapest power supplies with a thousand or more watts. And it's going to be really good for high end builds with the RTX 4080 and a CPU that will require a ton of power or even the RTX 4090, depending on the CPU that you pair it with. So we are getting into the really high end territory here. With the next one, if you require more power, then you can get the Thermal Take Tough Power GFA3. This one is a 1200 watt 80 plus gold power supply that's going for $167. And this one is basically enough even for the highest end combo, the RTX 4090 and the Ryzen 7 x 3 d But then if you want even better quality, you can get the Super Flower Lidex Platinum power supply. This one is as well a 1200 watt power supply, but this one is 80 plus platinum instead of 80 plus gold in case you care about that. And the price 
price is $179 after a $20 off promo code. And with the best power supply, in case you need more wattage, you have the EVGA Supernova 1600 watt 80 plus platinum power supply, 8 tier radial, of course, but this one is going for $305. So it's a really expensive power supply, but if you really need a ton of power, then I would be looking at this power supply. However, I want to make sure that you know that for each power supply, you have different PC builds because trust me, you do not want to pair a low end power supply with a high end build or even a high end power supply with a low end build because you are overspending. For that reason, I highly recommend you watching my video about the best PC builds of the month. You will have that one in the top right of the screen where you have a PC for every single budget with the right power supply and no bottlenecks. And if you watched this entire video, comment down below that you watched it. That way I know you're a real one. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. And I will see you on the next one.